Hi, I'm Cass. And I am Lee. And this is Cass Lee Productions. Today, we are doing another convo. Yes, and we're going to talk about how neither of us are addicted to caffeine. And like the majority of the world is addicted to caffeine. Um, I mostly wanted to talk about how, is that a bee's nest? Where? Oh, yes. They probably f ran away since it's on the floor. There's a bee's nest on the porch. Anyways. <laughs> they just see dog in the back. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to talk about how um, the different kind of products that are mostly consumed by a lot of people, um, how neither of us really drink it, and why. There's, there are going to be short reasons, but, that fine. Mm -hmm. but that's fine. But most of all, but starting off, you know how um, a lot of people, like in social media or pop culture, uh, start their day with a cup of coffee? Well, I hate coffee. I hate the taste of coffee. So bad. I, I, will drink, I will drink nothing with coffee in it. I have a very few exceptions to that rule. <laughs> what are your exceptions? Uh, the caramel frappe from McDonald's. Uh, oh, yeah, that's and good. pretty much, I think, a peppermint Roxanne. mocha that my mom once made. Hey, leave the beehive alone, dog. Um, <laughs> and then I think there was one where it's like you mix chocolate with uh, like a hazelnut chocolate with coffee. But that's because I can mostly take the hot chocolate. It's a hazelnut coffee into which you mix a packet of hot chocolate. Yes. It's called the Wolfgang. Yeah, it's called the Wolfgang. I tried it down um, where my, my my sister's... She's my friend, too. Where my friend Courtney lives. In... In where? Where does she live? We don't need to tell people where she lives. That's creepy. <gasps> oh, my. Will you please say the second thing again? Because I yelled at Roxanne, and then you yelled at Roxanne. Oh, uh... I don't remember what the second thing was. Oh, oh probably a peppermint mocha. That's what I said. Oh. Because she, there's a beehive over there yeah, and she's and going to sniff it. I didn't want her to eat it. <laughs> it smells like honey. You can't blame her. That 100% does not smell like honey. That's... She, she did eat a spider once. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, she decided she didn't like it. Just like right out of her mouth again and it died. So I'm sad. cutting all of this out. Bloopers! Oh. There's not typically bloopers for this. If it w if there was, it would be like two minutes long. I'm the editor. I say no bloopers. I'll keep it in if I feel like it. God, did you say? Anyway. And so my reason for coffee is I don't really like black coffee, but I do like like the specialty drinks you get from Starbucks. Um, like lattes and frappuccinos and stuff like that. For me, they still all taste like too much like coffee. But the thing, and so when I was in high school, I developed a like a tolerance to the taste of coffee because no one likes the taste of coffee when they first start doing it. And I don't feel caffeine. Like if I drink a cup of coffee, I don't feel energized like other people do. It doesn't keep me awake. Um, like there was this one time, I was on a road trip with my dad and how the road trips with my dad work is a lot of the times we um drive all through the out the night stop at five in the morning take a nap something like that and um i drink coffee or i asked my dad if i could have a gas station coffee like the lattes that like you mix with hot water and powder and all of that and um he goes sure if you want to stay up all night i fell asleep halfway through the cup of coffee it didn't do anything um but it turns out my uh we found out my junior year of high school that i can't have coffee anymore um it just it gives me an upset stomach causes nausea vomiting like gastrointestinal issues so i don't drink coffee anymore and fun fact with me, being ADHD, caffeine actually helps speed up the rest of my brain so it all functions at the same level. So when I drink caffeine, I actually get super focused. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so that's a fun fact for people with ADD and ADHD. Caffeine is actually beneficial, which is weird. <laughs> I mean, besides the keeping you awake thing, it is also, it helps you focus. It's weird, but it wears off so quick because of that. Yeah. Um, and so, other things that have caffeine in them, like, 
caffeinated pops. Those were the two main things I wanted to talk about, I feel like. With caffeinated pops, I don't like, one, I don't really like pop because of carbonation, and when I do, the only pops I drink are, un are uncaffeinated. Root beer, cream soda, and uh, Canada Dry. None of those have caffeine. Yeah, most of the pops I drink also don't have caffeine on them. The only ones that I think I do drink that have caffeine that I really like is probably Dr. Pepper in Coca-Cola. And I don't drink Coca-Cola that often. It's mainly the Dr. Pepper I drink. And that's like whenever I go to a fast food restaurant, that's just what I get because they usually have Dr. Pepper. I generally like non-caffeinated things as well when it comes to that because honestly, I just don't like the taste of caffeine. That's the reason I don't really like dark chocolate that much is because even though it's technically safer and better for you because pure chocolate is better, uh, it tastes like caffeine to me. Like chocolate. I don't like it's it's too bitter. I don't Keiko. like the bitterness of it. Keiko. Keiko? The what she's referring to is the bean component of the chocolate where Dark you chocolate. make yeah. the chocolate from you can't taste caffeine. I, it's just too bitter. Caffeine is bitter. Things with caffeine are bitter. <laughs> caffeine itself has no taste. I promise you. Caffe and then what about espresso? Espresso is made straight from beans, and that's freaking bitter. Because Still the of the bean? concentrate Still the of bean? the bean. Yeah, because like drinking straight caffeine would be like drinking okay, but, like but, hydrogen but peroxide, but here, like with the chemicals me out here. Technically, everything we taste is broken down in chemicals within our mouth. So technically, we're still tasting the caffeine. It's just not prominent taste. It has no taste. But that's how breaking down things when we eat works. Caffeine <laughs> is not a food product. It's a chemical component. Yes. So it would have no taste. I'm putting technicalities here because if it's, okay, we all know chemicals connected together to form mm -hmm. objects and tastes and stuff like that, right? And then when we eat something- Objects? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> what is it? But when we eat things, those chemical bonds get broken down. Mm -hmm. So I'm technically saying since it is a chemical, it is getting broken down and therefore we technically can taste it. It's just that the other things that it's paired with are stronger than the caffeine, so therefore it has no taste. <gasps> Finished. <laughs> I think we should agree to disagree. I think I went down a mind spiral you do not understand. <laughs> I think you're not explaining it in a way I can understand because caffeine is just straight up a chemical component of the food that it's in and it would be broken down in our stomach anyways because with our food, when we eat it, we break it down with our teeth and our tongue. And the saliva. And the saliva because of the enzymes. And, and then when it goes down, I know it goes through the whole entire process. I took anatomy, physiology. It goes through the digestive tract, then it goes through the intestines. I know. Yes. <laughs> so it would, the caffeine would be broken down in the stomach or intestines and then absorbed. It wouldn't be broken down in the mouth and like absorbed through the tongue or whatever. I guess when you put it that way, it makes sense. But I'm saying that you could still technically be broken down their side, but we don't know when that happens because we, it's not something I think we've studied, have we? There's probably a paper somewhere studied on there. Studied what? How caffeine is broken down within the human body. I'm sure there's a study somewhere. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's when there's caffeine pills. So if it's a pill, it's not a food product, I, I feel like. like. But there's also dissolvable pills in the mouse, but there is no dissolvable caffeine pills, so you're probably right. I feel like dissolvable pills... Well, a lot of pills are made with uh, glycerin and like um, gelatin products, stuff like that. So even then, if there was a dissolvable pill of caffeine, it would just taste like the glycerin or whatever. Yeah, I guess. It would have flavoring, because even if we could taste it, it probably wouldn't taste very good. Yeah. Because it's a chemical. Yeah. Well, I mean, no chemical would taste good, let's be honest. Right. <laughs> Except for the chemicals that work together to make food taste amazing. Like salt. Yes. Which is made of... Sodium cl and chloride. Sodium and chloride. Which, get this, sodium and chloride are both very explosive in their, like, elemental state. Oh yes, they can and become then, very volatile. <laughs> and when you put them together, you can eat them. That's cool. I like that. I like how you can technically eat explosive. It's amazing. Yeah. I don't like salt. Because I am terrified of 
That reminds me, there's the Scooby-Doo episode where they use that fact to explode a warehouse. Really? <laughs> yes! I should, I should show you the episode. It's one that, it's a new Scooby-Doo episode, the oh, one that okay. you didn't quite like, because the art style was too new. <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, I only showed you one episode, but you're like, I don't like the art style. I'm like, yeah, honestly, I was kind of disappointed with the art style, but I still liked it. I, I'm a bit of a purist, Scooby purist, but not as much as other people. <laughs> yeah. As long as they have the same art, basic art design, I'm good. <laughs> anyway, we got totally off track. That's okay. That's how these are. These videos are going to go. Um. I don't even. Remember I mean, where we, were. we did get it's a video about chemical or about caffeine. So, so it's technically it's still technically, a topic technically, until the Scooby Doo part, probably. Right. Right. <laughs> Um, shoot, is there, oh, another thing I want to mention is, um, you know how I said earlier that caffeine doesn't really affect me? The one type of caffeine that does affect me is, um, if I drink a matcha latte, which is a green tea latte, it doesn't have any coffee in it, um, despite the fact latte, despite the fact it's named latte, um, but... Um, I think, I, I don't know what it is with, like, the whole, like, matcha, but when I drink that, I actually get, like, a boost of energy from that, but it's, like, kind of like that bouncing off the walls, talking really fast energy, which probably annoys a lot of people. It doesn't annoy me because that's how I am 24-7. Yeah, that's true. Be I think both of us talk really fast, normally, and when... <laughs> I, this is kind of off topic, but I, I still want to talk about it. When I, um, like, go, like, into, like, a, okay, if I do this, then this, then this would happen, then this would happen, like, one of those kind of things, I start talking really, really fast, and I take no breaths, mm -hmm. and I get to the end of, it's usually something I'm worried about, um, and then when I get to the end of it, the person I was talking to just goes, Cassidy, you stress me out. <laughs> Like, you, you talking like that stresses me out, because, like, they can feel my stress. For me, it's like, wow, that, that, that was deep. That's usually my reaction. I'm like, I'm, it's kind of like, wow, that escalated quickly. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me try to address some of this. Yeah, because it's typically, like, a lot of irrational fears or something like that, because I was diagnosed with anxiety at a really young age. And it spirals, folks. Mm-hmm. Spirals. Uh, but that kind of reminds me, was it of a spiral thing that kind of happened to me? Uh, I'm gonna say at work. What is it? I was okay. watching Victor. Like, was it make sandwiches? And I'm like, dang, Victor's pretty slow. And then I look over at the table where we put the food, and I realize there's only three bags there, and the person's not getting up the window. And I go, huh. I wonder if it's technically better for the kitchen to be faster than the people putting out the window, or if it's better for the people putting out the window to be faster than the people on table. <laughs> and like, it's like onto this. And then Victor looks at me and he goes, Lilu. And I go, hmm? And he's like, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about how slow I'm moving, aren't, aren't you? And I go, yes. It's like, I did not tell him anything else. It went on my head after that. Because I went through, like, a whole rabbit hole of technically which one was better. And then, like, with, with the back row people, if they technically kept up. And I'm like, well, technically it should be better if the, you know, it's more piling up on the table. But it's always like, hmm, like, really deep thought. And he's just like, one thought, the beginning thought is all he guessed. And the rest was, he just couldn't. That's technically a symptom of ADHD. By the way, yeah, we we go we go down some paths. Mm -hmm. I also I want to put my thought on the whole like which would be better. I think it would be better for um, table because I worked at McDonald's um, for a little less than a year a couple years ago. Um, I think it would be better for table to be faster than window because then uh, window could just get would already have the orders and go through the cars. I mean, it's also better if they're perfectly matched speeds. Honestly, that's, that's, that's the that's perfect the, world. Yeah, that's perfect the goal. World. Sometimes you get that. Sometimes you get that. Sometimes you don't. And in that case, I would prefer table to be faster than window. Yes. So it's like, I also agree with that consensus, but it's also like it, for both of them to be matched would be yeah. optimal. Perfect wor <laughs> world. Um, yeah, look at that rabbit hole. <laughs> yes. I'm probably gonna keep that as well. Uh, yeah, because that's that's how my mind always goes. I always start with this one idea and then just go, go with it. One of my, my, one of my, I was talking to my psychologist one time and I was talking about like, was it? We were talking about values and she's like, she's like, what? Well, how about the word freedom? What makes you think? And she's like, more freedom or less freedom? I go less. And she's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, well, let me explain. If you, it's like, was it? You technically have the freedom to kill people. 
or you could have the freedom not to kill people. <laughs> and it's like, technically, I'd like less freedom on that side, so people just don't murder each other. <laughs> so it's like, in that sense, I'm okay with the restrictions. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> With normal laws. <laughs> yeah, because everyone's like, freedom, freedom is the best, freedom for all, you know, freedom for this and that. It's like, you do know that if we had too much freedom, it'd just be a freaking brawl all the time, right? And that's called an anarchist system. Government system. Yeah, so, Anarchy. It's, so it's like, you know, because it's like, maybe she's like, wow, that's, that's pretty deep, because I think of a more explanation than that. It's like, you know, I dwelled on this for like five years because different classes bring me up in books and analysis in classes so I, I went through my head a lot so i had lots of time to think about the meaning of the word freedom and what it meant <laughs> to me my first thought was just bald eagle <laughs> just, 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 just the eagle flying through the air <laughs> freedom <laughs> yeah i love the rabbit hole's brain goes down this is why adhd people are usually creative people mm -hmm. <laughs> Because our brains just spiral like that and run right into each other, so it's easier to get creative ideas. Yes. Yeah. Well, that that ended up being completely off topic. Near That's the end fine. There. But it's okay. Do you want to end the video now? Yeah. So once let's well, I'll see you back here later on combos with me and Cass. All right. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because that's important. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Yay!